Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tour of my studio. Um, I've seen a lot of other artists do this and I've always been fascinated by other people's studios and just how they have their workspace set up and you know it gives me ideas for what to do for my own workspace. So I thought that I would just show you around um, for better or for worse. I'm a little bit nervous about showing you <laughs> this space because I follow Etsy on Instagram and uh, artists always seem to show snapshots of their workspace and they are so perfect. And I mean, their watercolor wells they don't have like any messy paint in them. They're like in their little perfect pans and their paint brushes are all lined up real nice. And, and I mean, I know that's not reality, but still it looks so pretty. And they have these inviting places to sit and their spaces are bright and cheerful. And yeah, well, you'll see soon enough uh, that my workspace is not exactly like that. I'm very fortunate to have it because I work from home and I put in about 60 to 70 hours of work a week, give or take. It's more on the 70 hour a work week mark around the holidays. Um, but I wish that my space were a little bit more inviting. Uh, we actually had to take over uh, the, the master bedroom of our house. So my husband and I now sleep in the <laughs> spare bedroom. So what you're about to see is actually a, a master bedroom conversion. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is going to be it. And so let me just stop uh, chit chatting and just turn the camera around and I will show you guys where I work. So let's do it. Okay, so here we are at the entryway into my studio. As you can see, Emmy is down there. She is extremely excited about this video. <laughs> it is hot in here, so she is, uh, yeah, she's a little uncomfortable, as am I. We don't have any central air in this room, so one of the hazards. Um, so here we are, I'm gonna start this way and we're gonna work counterclockwise. And let me take this easel out of the way here. Um, this is my paint station. Um, and I just have all of my bins here with my paints separated by color. So when I need them, I can just pull them out and go through my colors that I need and then just pop them right back into place. This seems to work out pretty well for me. So there's all kinds of odds and ends and just other stuff that needs to be put somewhere else, but I don't know where. Um, there's a twig there that you can probably see. Um, yeah, there's, it, it's not greatly organized, you guys. I am like really <laughs> self-conscious about you seeing this space. I am not kidding. I Everywhere else in my house, I like to have it orderly, but in this room, it is just, it's just embarrassing. But yeah, so, okay. So let's just put this easel back. There's nowhere else to put it. That's where it goes. That's where it's gonna stay. Okay, this is, is like, uh, I'm just gonna show you. So this was our old closet that has now been converted into a catch-all. Oh God, I I need an intervention, you guys. Look at this, this is terrible. Um, at least I have boxes that have stuff in there. I mean, that's good, right? That's what they say on HGTV, that you should put stuff in boxes. Well, I do have some of those. They're not labeled, of course, so I don't know what's in them unless I go pilfering around, but I digress. So in this closet holds shipping supplies, um, boxes that I have acquired, see up there? Boxes that I have acquired from various things that I've gotten online, usually boxes from Amazon. I keep 
my boxes so that I can reuse them, especially if there's no printing on the outside or if there's printing that I can just peel off. I am about, I am all about reusing, recycling as much as possible. So um, if there's a decent box that arrives with stuff in it, I will just shove it in the closet. Where else is it gonna go, right? So I've got, I mean, I've got brown paper in there <laughs> that I got. I'm like, oh, well, that's great filling. I can use that. So, yep, that's back in there. Um, I have bins uh, of my uh, fine art magnets and my note cards that are all ready to go. I just, when I get an order from them on Etsy, I pull them out and pop those into the mail. I have my acrylic pour paintings that I don't know what else to do with sort of stacked down there. Um, yeah, camera stuff, it, it, it this is just, <sighs> It is what it is, so we'll just move on. Enough of that, right? So this is my actual work station here. Um, I have two windows in this room and I need to be as close to natural light as possible. Even though I do have two ot lights, you see they're both side by side. Um, I still have to have as much light as I can possibly get that's natural and it doesn't look too bad in here but normally the lighting is not that great so um but yes this is where i do all of my painting so i just you know i keep all of my stuff on the desk do you guys do that i keep everything on the desk where it's handy where i can reach for it i have all of my acrylic inks here i have my uh, paintbrush uh, water holder here which is disgusting um I don't how do you guys clean yours or do yours look like this too oh my god please don't tell me that I'm the only one that has them that looks like this because I will just crumble <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one um, Prismacolor pencils um, brushes here on the windowsill little paintings that I've done um, crystals and stones and rocks that I have collected from people who have sent them to me um, because I am a huge lover of um, anything earth related stones and crystals and and beautiful rocks things like that I love to collect so anytime someone sends me something I try to put things on my desk um, one of my customers sent me she's actually a very good friend now, I don't know if I can even get in on this little tiny dog. Look at this little dog. Well, I could pick it up, couldn't I? Look at this. An artist, I can't really see it very well. An artist made this on Etsy. And it looks just like my Marley that I lost um, a few months ago. So one of my customers sent that to me. And so I keep that here on my desk as well. Um, Oh yeah, watercolors, cold press, or I'm sorry, rough uh, watercolor paper that I'm having fits with, you guys. I, uh, this rough paper is making me nuts, but I keep it on my desk to remind me to practice with it. Um, I got my all of my alcohol inks, and this is a raven that I'm working on right now. And this raven is just about done. I have a little bit more work to do on it, but that's my current work in progress with obviously more acrylic inks and another water station right there that also looks disgusting along with a painting well that also looks disgusting. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is what we're dealing with right here. And this is after I cleaned up, don't forget, mm, yeah. So moving on, um, this is my computer and I am currently working on, look at this little otter here. I am currently working on a video for you guys on how to loosen up your painting style and I'm gonna be using this otter as um, a reference. So watch out for that video that will be coming up as soon as I am able to get that out for you. But that is going to be probably my next video. So I'm using this little otter as a reference photo and this is my art wall of artwork that has been done by other artists that have sent me work. Um, obviously not on the lower right, that's a Degas um, print. <laughs> and then the, the wolf here in the center, I did, but everything else was um, sent to me by other artists. And 
Then over here, I have my Rallo thermal printer, which I use to print labels on uh, my Etsy packages, which I love. Um, this has saved me so much time. I really love that. Um, it's a great thing to have. More paintings, more brushes. Um, and then this over here is sort of like a packing up station. Um, I have in this drawer uh, envelopes, rigid envelopes. Um, I have cellophane sleeves. Um, I have, you know, just anything that I need to help me ship things with. I've got my um, scale here. In here I keep, you know, I put these little inserts in with things that I sell. And this is just a, you know, a little thank you um, of work that I've done. And I'll sign it on the back and always do a handwritten note just thanking people for purchasing from my uh, art shop. Um, business cards, little uh, tiny little labels there with my uh, mouse painting on them. And then over here, we just, I, well, this, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I got this for 10 bucks, you guys. It is, they're adjustable shelves and it spins and rotates and it has like this sign that goes in the top center and it was used for bread goods, to display bread goods at a grocery store. And they were selling a lot of these. I think maybe the bread line or something went out of business. And so I thought, well, this would be great to use for art shows. So it was a different color. I painted it black and now it just sits here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, maybe probably put art supplies in it, I guess, but I don't wanna get it all gross and nasty. So. It's gonna sit there for right now until I figure out what exactly to do with it. Um, moving on here, this is my printing station. Here is my Canon Pro 100 printer that I use. I do all of my prints here up to size 13 by 19 inches, although uh, that's the maximum paper size that you can use. Uh, my prints I use uh, 11 by 14 inches is the largest that I print from because anything larger than that would have to be outsourced and those printers are astronomical in price. I cannot afford them, so that's why um, my maximum size is 11 by 14. I could outsource for larger prints, and I do sometimes, but they have to be drop shipped directly to the customer, and I like to inspect all of my work before it goes out. Um, so again, that's why I kind of stick with the 11 by 14s as my largest size. Um, and then this is just my cheap Canon printer down here. This is my three-in-one. It copies, faxes, and scans. And it, uh, yeah, it just does the job for all of my everyday printing. And then over here is another good deal <laughs> that I got. This thing right here. Um, my nephew tagged me on one of those Facebook garage sales and someone was getting rid of this for $12. Um, and I use it to just house all of my prints, my original artwork, and my unused papers go in here. And then as I need them, I just pull them out. I mean, this is big, but it works out really, really well and very handy to have. And then on top here, more paintings. Um, usually on the right is uh, their paintings that is going to be set aside for my Facebook auctions. And then in the center, paintings that need to have protective sleeves and backing board. Um, and then on the left, which is my biggest pile, are unfinished paintings that need to be worked on. So yeah, that's what that's what that pile is all about. And then coming around here, this is the, that is the doorway to the bathroom. Um, my cutting board here, which I love. This is my Carl cutting board. Um, love this cutting board. I've had it for years and years and it works fantastic. Um, so this is where I cut all of my prints and get them ready to ship. And then last but not least, this is my last workstation here. It is, uh, this is where I do my acrylic pour paintings when I feel like doing them. Um, hi, you can see my shadow in there. I'm like backlit 
with the uh, with the window behind me. I'll move this way. Um, yeah, look in there. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Guess how long all that stuff's been sitting in there? Yeah, months, months and months. So mm -hmm. this is this is the again the harsh reality of my existence here in my studio. Um, yeah, and I don't even know how long that's been in there. Long time. Mm. Okay, that's enough of that. I just come here when I need stuff to do just something if my shoulder's bothering me and I need to keep connected to my art. I come over here and do acrylic pour paintings. They're really great to keep me connected, but they don't put a lot of stress on my shoulder, so I keep that handy. So yeah, that's about it, you guys. Well, that's it. Did you learn something? Probably not. But you got to see where I do all of my work and yeah, not very glamorous, but it's big enough and it fits the bill. And this is where I am day in and day out. So I just thought you guys might like to see it. And I would love to know more about your workspaces. Is there anything in my studio that you think that I need that I don't have that I could maybe benefit from? I would love to know your thoughts on that. And uh would love to see your workspace if you are on YouTube and uh, you happen to do a video like this let me know so I can come visit you and check out your workspaces so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one so thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon bye <laughs>